Hey going everyone, Nick here, and today we are looking at something that has been out for a while, but is actually a pretty big deal, especially if you're interested in installing mods for Automobile Lister 2. Now, previously when you wanted to install mods, uh, it was a bit of a process. You had to you know, manually edit lines in script files and uh, you know ma manually manage uh, certain files and things in folders and make sure that they align to the version of AMS2 that you had installed and it was like it worked but it it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a simple process so um, what has been released and uh, has gone through a few updates already is the Automobilista 2 content manager um, now if you think content manager your mind might go straight to the Seto Courses content manager which is quite an in-depth GUI um, yeah, application. This is not that, but it still massively simplifies the process of installing mods for AMS2. So I thought I'd show you quickly um, what that process is and just how easy it is. Um, I will put the link to um, where you can download Content Manager from. Um, and then you can obviously dig around for your own mods, go and race department. There's heaps out there, right? Um, so first and foremost, you'll download the content manager, which if you can see up here, um, and you just extract it to a folder, right? So you've got all these files and then you've got an exe here, um, which is the content manager installer. Um, I did have some issues running this the first time because I didn't have the .NET 6 uh, version runtime installed. Um, that fixed the problem. So just make sure the instructions are on the page um, of all the prerequisites you had. I just didn't read them because I, you know, it's me. Um, but that did fix my problem. So what you do, step one, install or extract this uh, this zip file to a folder. And you'll have all these files. I've just made it in a folder called AMS2CM. Uh, now, over on the left here, this is my Automobilista2 install directory. What you need to do in here is go to the root of the directory. So it should be your Steam, Steam apps, common, then Automobilista2. Then create a folder called mods. Inside that folder, ignore this install.json file, you won't have that yet. Create a folder called enabled. Now what you want to do in, in here is this is where you put the zip files of your mods. You don't need to extract the, the zips, just put them straight into this folder like this. Keep in mind though, that some modders will put zips within zips. Don't know why, but they will. Um, so just maybe open up the zip file of your mod to double check that there's not another, a, like a nested zip inside it. Um, if there is, you want to extract that one into this folder. All right, so once they're all in there and you're ready to go, and you've got all the mods that you want, simply go back to your content manager folder and run it. What will happen is you can see, um, because I've run this before, it's uninstalling the mods that I had and reinstalling them. So anytime you add a zip to that folder, it will uninstall everything and reinstall everything that's now in there. Um, it's actually pretty good. And the same is if there's a new version of a mod that comes out, um, you simply just replace all the zip files that are in there with all the new ones, run the uh, exe again, and it'll uninstall and reinstall all the new versions. Um, it also, as you can see down here, you know, appends the CRD file entries, TRD file entries, driveline record entries. These are all things that you used to have to do manually, and it was, it was a real pain. Um, so it's super easy, right? But now that that's all installed, we're going to jump into AMS2 and just have a quick look and make sure that it worked. <laughs> That's a, uh, a priority, I think, on this one. Okay, so we're in our vehicle selection screen in AMS2. And if we scroll through the list on the left-hand side, uh, particularly with the mods that I've installed, uh, you will see, for example, here with the GT1, there's a second GT1 class. Now, the mod creator for the mods I installed said that they did this to make it easier to find. I mean, it's not absolutely necessary, but it does make my life easier right now. So we click on that. So we can see the Toyota GT1 that I installed. If we go to the showroom, you can see the model. It's pretty nice. We've also got, what else did we install? We installed the Radical, I think. Which will probably be some, oh, and also the 488 Challenge. There we go. Showroom, there's that. Looking good as well. And then if we go down to, got to find the Radical class now. Here it is, Radical SR3 RS. Look at that, what a weapon. 
Now, I think what we should do is not drive this on the NASCAR Trioval, but on, I don't know, what's a track that we should try? Hockenheim Ring? That's a, that's a good old one. And uh, let's make sure that it works, hey? Let's see what happens. Um, I know that you can get, you know, some mods are obviously more well-made than others. Uh, also, keep in mind that some mods might be lifted from other games. So, uh, a lot of mods for AMS2 are, uh, come from Project Cars 2 because they run on a similar engine. Um, so, you might see a lot from that. So, not a bad thing. I'm just saying that uh, keep in mind that some things aren't entirely unique, right? So let's get in the car and see. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. Let's see if it drives well. Not that I'll drive well, but we'll see if it drives well. Okay. I think some of the textures on the side aren't like amazing on that lip on the livery, but that, that could just be uh, this livery that I've chosen. I love radicals. They're so much fun. You know what? This is pretty cool. It's nice to have things that are, you know, ad free additions to games like mods. And being able to install them in a simple manner is uh, always welcome in my book. Just cruise this around. Uh, a bit of audio glitching there, actually. Didn't need to lift there, but anyway. Sorry, I got, uh, I got distracted there. <laughs> I'm actually really excited that this is uh, now in the game. This is really good. Super easy. God, it's so much easier to do now than it used to be. This is just open the, uh, open the floodgates to uh, all sorts of mods. I know that people have also done um, track mods as well. So we're going to pull the, let's pull the car over for a second. People have also done track mods as well, so custom tracks um, and imported the tracks from Project Cars 2 as well. So the sky's the limit now. Uh, it's you know much easier to do. Bit of a shame that they never really did, you know, out of the box modding support for AMS2, but you know, it is what it is. We've got options now, so it's all good. Um, but look, I just want to do a quick video to show you guys how easy this was to do. Um, if you have any questions about how to do this, obviously. You know, let me know in the comments. I'm more than willing to help. Um, there's really good instructions on the page that I'll link in the description as well. So uh, have a read through there. If you need uh, any extra help, just ask. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It's uh, big times ahead for AMS2 in uh, the modding scene. So really looking forward to it. But if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you didn't, a thumbs down and some constructive feedback is always welcome. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, I'll catch you later. Thanks. See ya. Thank you.